Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps. In this tutorial series, we're going to have a look at how to get up and running with PHP Composer. Okay, so PHP Composer is a package management system for PHP and it helps you um, easily install libraries which you can use in your PHP development work and um, you can easily um, distribute the set of libraries to other people very easily as well. And also, the reason I'm doing this tutorial series is because I'll be using Composer in a lot of the um, upcoming YouTube videos. So I thought it would be a good idea to um, just do a short um, series on it just to get people up and running. That is anyone who's not very familiar with PHP Composer because I've been using it for a while and I think it will be helpful for everyone to get up to speed with it. Okay, so first of all, let's see how we can install PHP Composer. So the first thing I want you to do is go to this URL here getcomposer.org and um, head over to the download page and um, copy this um, little code snippet here well, do not worry about storing this um, because this code snippet here will change uh, as you can see there's a hash here uh, some sort of cryptic um, set of numbers and letters and that will change as it says on this page here so just copy everything um, inside here and um, go to your terminal uh, you can just go to any folder i recommend you have an empty folder so i'll do an ls here as you can see there's nothing here so i'll just paste all that command in my terminal and then um, i'll let it run so what that will do is that will um, just go ahead and install composer for you okay so when it finishes i'm um, installing composer just press enter and that will go and delete um, on needed files so now when i do an ls it won't be an empty folder it has installed um, composer for me okay so to test that composer has been downloaded into this folder i'll just do php make sure that you have php installed on your system so i'll do php composer the far and as you can see it is running composer and um, it has shown me here all the um, available commands for composer okay but um that's not how you normally will want to set up composer to run on your um, computer and the reason i'm saying that is you don't want to be typing php and then um directory where composer.phar is so you just want to be able to type composer and bam that's what that everything runs as you expect and the way you can set up up is we have to move this composer.phar file to our bin directory okay and how you do that is um, actually before we do that let me just show you that i have it in my bin directory right now i'll do an ls um, forward slash usr I'm using a Mac so um, this will be this folders will be available on Mac and um, Linux but not on Windows um, if time permits I'll show how to install on Windows but it's uh, pretty straightforward okay so USR forward slash bin and um, when I press enter um, actually let's go to um, yeah so as you can see this is what's in my um, bin directory here so right here you see there's the composer command okay so when i do a uh, forward slash usr and then bin and forward slash composer so basically this um, same command runs as um, the composer that i just recently downloaded here so in order to get that running what you need to do is move this to that folder so i'll go ahead and remove that file composer usr sorry usr bin forward slash composer Okay, so what that would ask me is whether I want to remove that. So I'll just say yes. Um, I'll do a sudo remove. Okay, press enter. And that went ahead and deleted that file. So now when I type composer, since that doesn't exist, it will tell me that it doesn't exist. So now, in order to, um, if you have never installed composer, you probably will not have that file there. Just like for me, I don't have it anymore because I deleted it. So I'm going to do a, um, a sudo move. Now do composer.far. And basically where I want to move it is uh, usr for slash bin for slash composer. So I want to take this file, rename it, and move it to um, that part. So I'll just press enter. Now when I do composer, everything should run as expected. Okay? So there you have it, we have installed Composer. 